Exactly. You know, we're into the new year, so a lot of people are thinking change. Maybe they change their bodies, their mentality, their perspective, or perhaps their homes. We are going to be talking about home stage, and we've got some great tips that will help make the greatest impact whether you're selling or enjoying your home. Coming up next on BT Live from North Vancouver. Stay with us. Yeah, and it's nice and toasty warm in this beautiful home here in North Vancouver. Today we are talking about staging and, Ron, the importance of, I guess, setting up a room uh, to showcase its maximum potential. How important is that when not only selling a home, but perhaps even just in your natural enjoyment? Well, it's always important. I mean, the goal with home staging is we're really trying to engage people, buyer, uh, potential buyers that are viewing the home. We want to bring the home alive for them, make them able to envision themselves living here, and really create desire. So this is the first thing you see when you come in the home. So if this were empty, it would just be, you know, an empty square white room. What we try to do here is really portray its use. It's a beautiful home office. It's luxurious. It's stylish. It's really pushing some buttons and giving people a wow factor when they first enter the room. Definitely. And I think January is definitely a busy time for home sales. So perhaps people are looking to get a few of those tips. Thanks very much, Ron. Brent, you are the designer stylist. Uh, well, just an all around beautiful man. I'm telling you, make a beautiful room, don't you? Thank you. Tell us what you have here. Well, in here you have the dining room, obviously, yes. and it's a square room, so one of the interesting things about it is using a round table, which a lot of people don't typically think of using, but using a rectangle table in here just wouldn't work. It wouldn't fit this way or this way. And then you never know exactly where should I be sitting. Exactly. When you talk about color scheme, how important is that to have something like this is quite neutral? It is, but it's, it's quite graphic, though, because I've done a lot of art along the top of the wall here, all the way around the whole perimeter of the room, which gives it sort of a, I don't know, grounding bit, because it is light, and there isn't a lot of color going on, and this helps to grounded a bit. It definitely does some great tips from Brent and of course we are going to be getting some staging tips, some design tips all morning long there Jody and Riaz. For more details of course you can go to the website. Good morning to you Sweet Home Alabama. I'm hearing the music. Yeah this would be a sweet home to live in. Uh, Nick we're in what I believe probably to be one of the most popular places at least for me. I always love the kitchen and it really is a good place to invest uh, your time and money if you're looking at staging it right? Absolutely. I would say that if you're going to spend the money spend it in the kitchen and the main living areas. And so we're looking at what, you know, for most people, for me, this is like to have this kitchen would be just a dream, but really the design of it is important for people to be able to visualize their space in this way. Well, absolutely. We bring, the, we bring on home stages like Decor in to take a blank canvas and really give it some personality. When buyers, our buyers come in, they, want, they, don't want to know, they don't want the problem of figuring out what do I do with the space. It's done for them so they can imagine them, them and their families living in a beautiful home like this. Oh, I think I could probably imagine this. So we've got something like the kitchen, which is already a big space. And Brent, what's interesting about this is about this concept specifically here with a bit of a, I guess, almost like there's an opposite to track. It's a very traditional. Traditional, you've got millwork everywhere, crown moldings, lots of, you know, kind of stainless steel handles and everywhere. It's, it's a very traditional house, but because of this and uh, sort of the color scheme that they've done in here, it gives it a really um, contemporary edge. That's why I went with contemporary furniture. So for anyone that has a more traditional home and they're looking at maybe kind of rejuvenating it, because of course we're into that new year right now, um, they really can think outside the box. Just because they have a traditional home doesn't mean they have to do. Yes, and that seems to be the trend lately. People are buying traditional homes or traditional, you know, shells, I guess, and they're putting more contemporary furniture in it like this. So when you're looking at contemporary things like the, the square edges, the you know, like the couch is very boxy, that type of exactly. thing? Exactly, square edges, and also uh, finishes with a lot of sort of silver and, and kind of more shinier things through it. I love it. Beautiful. Great tips from Brent. And of course, from more we are going to be tackling some of the other rooms again throughout the morning, guys. Now, if I had a home, Ron, this would be my idea of the perfect renovation. Of course, we're talking about home staging and we've made our way into the basement and yet there's this whole other Napa feeling right here for us. Well, this house is built for entertaining and this space down here, really, it's a wonderful sort of adult entertainment party zone. We've got, we're in the wine cellar right here. It's a beautifully finished, customized wine cellar with the racking and so forth. We've given it some nice inviting uh, touches here with the table and chairs and a little propping to really kind of bring it alive for people. And then this flows into the bar area, which is, uh, you know, a natural entertaining space. And, then, and you got, of course, Brent over there right now, but it's really about thinking about the potential. Um, when you're looking at something like staging too, if people are looking at selling their home, how important is it to sort of, because this is really tidy. 
I don't know. I'd love to have a space this clean. <laughs> uh -huh, that's right. Well, for anybody who's uh, living in their home and thinking of selling, from a staging standpoint, the first thing on the agenda is decluttering. Okay. Everybody's got too much stuff, including me. So, you know, it's all about paring down and really making sure that what's in the home is adding to the picture, not taking away from it. Well, this is a beautiful picture. Thanks very much, Ron. And, you know, uh, Brent, uh, I love that we got the wine cellar, then we've got the bar. The, mm -hmm. This is actually segmented into about three spaces, this particular basin. By the way, the fish part of your design uh, there? No, the fish come with the house. <laughs> I, I didn't bring the fish, but they, they certainly add a bit of life to the room. So when we look at something like staging, because obviously, like I said, this is a home that's, you know, people would be ready to move in. They call it a what, turnkey almost, right? You could just yes. sort of come in. Um, yes. When you're looking at something like staging, Popcorn, jelly beans, we've always been told to sort of keep your personal stuff out of it. Why something like that? Well, this is just more purpose for the room. So there's a screen and it's obviously a media room and it just suggests to a potential buyer that they can sit down and enjoy popcorn and too much sugar and, you know, so enjoy a movie. Visual, it's about the visualizing. It's Absolutely. about going, great, you're not going to eat that popcorn, but can I see myself here? Well, I sure can. Yes, picturing yourself in the space is what really makes it, and who doesn't love popcorn? And, you know, getting little trinkets, little things like that would be very simple for people that are looking to oh, uh, sell home. Oh, yeah. Yeah, excellent. Some great uh, design tips, some great staging tips here. For more details, you can, of course, go to their website. We've got lots more coming up just before 9 o'clock. Well, we've made our way through most areas, giving some good staging tips, a few design tips, Ron. And now we're in a spot that, oh, if I, if I had a choice, I'd never leave my bedroom. <laughs> it's, it's such a comfortable space, but for some people, they don't really invest the time in it. No, a lot of, a lot of people tend to kind of leave their master bedroom to the last, and it gets the least amount of attention. And they may do the rest of the house, and the master bedroom kind of gets left to the end and maybe never really finished properly. For a, a property like this, I mean, I always say when we're staging a home like this, Whoever's buying this house is sleeping in this room. So this is where we really want to make an impression of luxury and beautiful finishes and so forth. This room feels like a luxury hotel suite and that's what we really want people to feel when they come in here is pampered and just really, really uh, wowed by the space. And again, envisioning the fact that, oh, this is the kind of room that I would like to wake it up in. So if yeah. you are sitting there and redesigning your home, this might be an option to sort of think of that luxury suite. We got to make our way inside uh, the master uh, bathroom. And of course, we're going to make our way through the closet space. When people are staging, the cleanliness, the clutter, that's a problem, right? Yeah, less is more. Absolutely less is more. You want to, uh, you want to show the potential of space, but you don't want to be showing people crowded, overstuffed closets with, you know, too many clothes and too much stuff in them. And we're in the beautiful master uh, bathroom right now. This is spectacular. It is. It's very luxurious. Once again, it's got that kind of hotel luxury feel. All the finishes are, uh, are top quality in here. And we just, you know, we like to make the, uh, the luxurious touches of just adding accessories and so forth to really bring the space alive. Because bathrooms can tend to be kind of cold and hard exactly. feeling. Exactly. So softening them up and really giving them some character is the important part. And why not add a chandelier? Oh, that's, the, that's what I say. Uh, thanks so much for sharing uh, this space with us. Of course, we've been in North Vancouver all morning long. For more details, you can go to the website.